Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna discuss the questions that you should be asking at the end of an interview. Now this could be an interview for a job or an internship. Um, there are so many times when I will interview a candidate who is fantastic, but then at the end of the interview, I'll say, do you have any questions for me? And they'll go, no, I'm all good. And I'm immediately concerned. It's so important to the employer that the person they're interviewing leaves the interview with a solid understanding of what that job is, right? Because as an employer, your time is the most valuable thing you have. You don't wanna waste your time by hiring the wrong person. So having a positive interview with someone is great, but if you can't honestly say that they get it, that they understand the position when they walk outside of your office, you're probably gonna be hesitant when it comes to hiring them. So it is crucial, everybody. It is crucial that you always ask questions at the end of the interview. Now, I love talking about Intern Queen and how I got started and the whole thing, but when I'm in a job interview, when I'm interviewing someone who is going to work at my company, and I say, do you have any questions? And they say, well, yeah, how did you get started as the Intern Queen? I don't wanna talk about that right? Because I want to know that they're the right person for this position. So me talking about intern queen doesn't help us achieve that. So here are some questions that I do recommend that you ask. You know, one important question is, can you describe a day in the life of an intern at your company, right? Because it's important that I give you the full picture of what the day to day of this job entails so that you can go home tonight and really make a, you know, an informed decision on what whether or not this is the right job opportunity for you. Now, another question that I really love, and actually one of our interns, I think, asked this uh, recently. She said, what's the difference between a good intern and a great intern? Or what's the difference between a good team member and a great team member? And as the employer, I really liked uh, speaking to that because the goal for me, again, as the employer, is to make sure that this person knows exactly what I'm looking for. So I love when people ask questions like that because I'm looking for a rock star team member and I want to make sure that I differentiate right from the beginning of my relationship with this new person what is a great team member versus what is a good team member. Another really great interview question is can you describe some of the challenges of this position? Because let's be honest, not every position is glamorous and you don't wanna say, what's so bad about this position? Or can you tell me what really stinks about this? That would be unprofessional. But a really positive way to phrase it is by using the word challenge. Everybody's always up for a challenge, right? You can even tee that question off and say, I am always up for a challenge. Can you describe some of the challenges of this position? So those are some of the questions that I recommend you ask at the end of any interview. Just as a side note, a lot of students will say, can I take out a piece of paper and make notes during the interview? Absolutely. I don't even care if you're taking notes, even if you're scribbling, it makes me feel special as the employer. I wanna know that you're taking notes, you're listening to everything I say, and you're really absorbing it. So good luck at that interview. Always ask questions, even if it's just one, that's okay, but always ask questions. Good luck, everyone.